your spirit and fall afresh on us. Fill us with your power, Lord, and fill us with your love. Lord, send your spirit and... Let me set the scene. It's Friday. It's three o'clock. We're in a basement room in Bethlehem. Basement room means room with no windows. This is going to be significant in a minute. Um, and uh, as we gathered, not unusual at all in the Holy Land, there was a power cut, no electricity. So we're in a basement room with no windows, so now we have no light. No electricity means no microphone. That's okay, you can shout. We were translating into five languages with no translation equipment. So of course, you can imagine, it's not so easy now, it, we're in a darkened room. We could just about see because those exit lights come on, don't they, when there's a, a power failure. So there was a little bit of light. But generally, people were panicking. The air conditioning had gone off. So, you know, you're not breathing so well, as you can imagine. We don't need to worry too much about that. We're very familiar with it in this room. So we were losing the air. We've no light. We've no power for amplification. And we've no way of translating. So there's a little bit of panic in the room. Somebody came to me and, and said, maybe we should just take a rest. Yeah, once people have gathered, I don't think it's good to rest because the power could come on at any time, so I'm resisting that. Another lady came and said, maybe we could pray the rosary. Now, the rosary is a very good prayer to pray. And it was one of those moments when, as a leader, you need to make a quick discernment. Because actually, praying the rosary in all the languages would have been a very easy thing to do. And I just thought about it for a moment and I'm thinking, Lord, what are we going to do? And I sense the Lord say, wait. It's hard to wait when people are panicking. So I just said to everybody, you know, friends, let, let's just wait. Let's just stand where we are and just wait. Then they're trying to get the translation so everybody knows what we're doing. It's chaos, really. It is chaos. And Patty Mansfield, who was with us, Patty was one of the students from Duquesne University weekend, as I'm sure you, you know, right at the beginning of the charismatic renewal. She came to the front and she explained. Now, her explanation was like trying to be translated to everybody. You know, it, it wasn't easy, this. So don't get the idea that this is a really clear word and we're all on board. But what she said was, at the Duquesne weekend, when the students arrived, there was a problem with the water at the retreat house. And in fact, by the second day in the morning, the authorities in the retreat house said, we think you need to leave the retreat because there is no water. And you know, they were university students. What's the problem? No water. We'll somehow survive. You know, we're enjoying ourselves. So they kind of rode over that difficulty in the way that young people are able to do. And they carried on with the retreat, but this was becoming a concern. And so when some of the students went into the chapel at, Duque at the Ark and the Dove Retreat Center, which is an upper room, that evening they were praying for water. <laughs> and Patty gave testimony in the darkness and chaos of this basement room in Bethlehem that not only was the water restored, at that retreat center through their prayer, but that was the beginning of the pouring out of the life-giving water of the Holy Spirit that marks the beginnings of the Catholic charismatic renewal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we took courage in the darkness of our basement room in Bethlehem and we prayed and we prayed and we prayed as best we could. And then in the darkness, really, one of the men, because you, you, you're running out of air when there's no, you know, it was quite a difficult situation. We were running out of air. We were running out of strength. It was getting very hot. And one of the men went to the back wall where there was a huge cross, olive wood cross. And he took the cross down from the wall. This is in the darkness. We can hardly see what's happening. And, and you know, his prayer was he's walking around as much as he could in the darkness with this cross. And then there was a prophetic word that came. 
And the prophetic word was, you have no more power. Come to me. And immediately all the lights came on, the air conditioning kicked in. We were all standing looking at the raised cross of Jesus Christ with that word, you have no more power, come to me. That's the title of this talk, my friends. <laughs> you have no more power, come to me. I believe the Lord gave us, and I'm saying us, because I think this is a word for the renewal. He gave us a warning and he gave us an invitation. I think he gave us a warning, you have no more power. You know, you people, you leaders from all around the world, you international leaders, etc., etc., you think you know everything. You think you're experienced in the renewal. You think you're pioneers in the renewal. Whatever name you want to give yourself, I believe the Lord was saying to us, you have no power. <laughs> Amen. It was a warning. Because as we've grown in the spirit, it's a human temptation. We tend to get strong in the spirit. Hallelujah. But then we forget it's strength in the spirit and then we start to move in the flesh and then we start to control things and then we start to have opinions about things. I have an opinion about everything, my friends. <laughs> and ha more than half the time, as my husband will tell you, I believe I'm right. 50%, no, 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 95% I'm right, I tell you. Yeah. And this is what happens. The flesh gathers a momentum and then we try and take the authority of the spirit, ha ha, to back up our own personal opinion. Thus saith the Lord. Sometimes we can prefix that with I think. Because some of our prophecies even are just people's personal opinion. You know? We need to repent of this. And the Lord, I believe, gave us a warning in that basement room in Bethlehem. He gave us a warning about wanting or thinking that we are in control. Lord, send your spirit and fall afresh on us. Fill us with your power, Lord, and fill us with your love. Lord, send your spirit and Fall fresh on us.